Oh yeah, check out the little bar cart. But it's not a bar cart, you know what it is. We got the flower, we got the eddies, the shroomy section. Come on, it's nicely divided. Honestly, one of my favorite things about the past like few years about living in LA and living in a legal cannabis place is I feel like when you're in an illegal spot, Edibles are just like brownies and cookies. You're really not getting anything crazier than those two. But here in LA, when you're in, or not even in LA, when you're in like Colorado or just like any place with even a medicinal program, then you get access to like very, very cool edibles. So we got like, we're gonna make a video on these later. These are like onions. We got uh, some popcorn back there, Rice Krispie treats, a red velvet cookie, hella gummies, even capsules. It's, it's nice, you know? Gummies I feel like are a little bit overplayed as well. Like 90% of the market is probably chocolate or gummies right but we're throwing it back a little bit here because this was one of the most like I want to say it was one of the most faked edibles of all time but for good reason just because it was that delicious man so shout out D munchies you know what I mean Delta munchies for coming through euphoria you can taste baby look at these bad boys you know what uh, let's go man look at that number 1250 milligrams on a punk bitch what in the world what what in the fuck this is ridiculous this is like the most this is the craziest most ridiculous thing ever so i mean we're gonna eat some we got some things to do today we got the podcast to record today i'm gonna go to the apple store we got to trade in a little laptop uh it's gonna be cool kendall's gonna go to daycare he's pumped man we're gonna do it all on a, a nice delicious little eddie i'm excited because this is like let's be honest this has got to be it's got to be the tastiest candy top five have you guys had the little balls like the little clusters that's a top three candy a hundred percent so i mean let's go i'm just excited because it's real you know what i mean i feel like you know you had those plugs back in the day that would sell these and then it would just be a regular rope and you probably pay like 10 15 bucks for it so hey if you got scammed it's all right let us know let me know a scam story of you getting finagled because i want to or maybe you finesse someone else you know what i mean maybe you sold uh I don't know what's ways to see. There's hella ways to scam people. With you're selling hemp flour, CBD flour. I've heard people getting scammed in that way. Fucking oregano. That's a tough L. I hope nobody has ever bought oregano accidentally because that's so fucking. That's a L. Uh, if you are interested in getting one of these little Delta Mondays, I got a code for you. By the way, it's probably on screen for you. It's usually con. You can usually just try type in the code con. Obviously, we're not gonna eat the entire thing. It's like a 30 minute drive to the podcast, so. Damn, bro, I wish there was a way to dose this. I kind of wish they were the little clusters. That'd be dope. Well, dropping nerds everywhere. You know, the full thing's this big. Like a tenth of it is like 100 milligrams, sound like right there. We'll eat like 200, I guess, right now. And then we'll, like, we'll be tweaking throughout the podcast, I guess. All right, let's do it. This is probably like 2 250 right here, which is kind of ridiculous. That's like, bro, I never eat more than 100. We might just chill it right here, but. And that's solid. And you don't even taste the weed at first. And then you really start to like, the nerds mask it so well, bro. This is easily the best tasting edible. This has got to be like, I mean, come on, bro. Straight candy. All right, cool. Um, let's go have a busy day today on edibles. Yeah, we're in Santa Monica, baby. The beach is like two blocks that way. The uh, podcast went really well. I'm not going to lie. The edibles started beating my ass like halfway into it. A segment in the podcast where we read like the comment section and from the last one, like a couple comments and I couldn't read, bro. Like my eyes are all cross-eyed and shit is nuts. We're getting a little bit of Pine Park lunch right now. It's my favorite part of the week, mainly because it's a free lunch. We don't have to pay. So we're getting a little, a little barbecue, a little J barbecue. You know what the vibe is. Look at this guy. It's walking the wrong way. Fuck. <laughs> That's how cooked I am, bro. Shit. Yeah, I'm just missing directions. I didn't even say nothing. I was like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even see you. Doing like an intro or Were you right there the whole time? Yeah. No I way. Was like, I was like, let us do this thing. <laughs> I've not tried this. You didn't try it last time? No, or I don't think so. Maybe what's came out on the menu last time? We're at a new little cute coffee location. We got it's happy hour right now, bro. Four bucks. Come on now. Stop playing with me. Come on now, come on. Oh, so you can take this one. You are really like our uncle. Yeah, Uncle Timmy. Oh, fuck. Sounds dangerous. I don't want to go to Uncle Timmy's house this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Check it, baby. Good s'more action. Yeah. Alright, finally home after that fucking 5 o'clock traffic. Oh, this angle's fucked and this thing's in the way. Maybe we can like 
something about the raising desk is just so fire, bro. Uh, yeah, man, I got way more stoned off this than I thought I was going to, and I thought I was gonna, like, get home, record some content, maybe even stream and do some shit, but I'm slumped, man. I'm slumped. Right now, I think the move is catch up on some basketball. We got some close games right now. I'm a Spurs fan, and, uh, they fucking suck. We're tanking for Wemby, so I got, I'm a Lakers fan for this season, I guess, so we're trying to see if they're gonna make the playoffs. I'm trying to catch some games, man. I've been to a few Clippers games. I've been to one Lakers game, and, um, the Lakers are lit, you know, LeBron's the fucking goat and all that, so I want to catch that. Uh, anyway, we're probably gonna eat a couple more bites just because I'm craving, like, the, the actual taste. I'm not gonna lie, I want to actually, like, eat, if, if I had one of these without the weed in it, I would eat that right now, 100%, but I don't, so we're gonna have to indulge, all right, just a little bit. We're gonna take probably a couple more bites, like 200 more milligrams, and then just fucking slump out, and then, I don't know, I was gonna say I'm gonna eat more tomorrow, but I think... Honestly, uh, this will probably just knock me the fuck out. If we're gonna be honest, like I'm so close to just taking a nap, but it's like seven o'clock and the sun's still out. So that means if I sleep now, I'm gonna wake up at like three or four and it's gonna be weird, you know? You never that, that ever happened to you? You get put in a cush coma and then your sleep schedule's all fucked up? That's what this edible will do to you, bro. Do not eat the whole thing. I got a <laughs> fucking, what's his name, man? Goblin actually ate one of these before me. He ate the whole thing on some real tweaky shit. He said he was actually high for like two days, so. That's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to chill, you know what I mean? Yeah, it says right here in bold, like the biggest letters ever. It says, we do not recommend eating a whole rope at once. Please enjoy responsibly. So if you wanna know what cannabinoids are in here, because this is 50 state legal, you can get this shit right to your doorstep. Uh, there's Delta 9, which is the main thing in there. And then HHC is the other big thing. There's also CBG, CBD, and CBN for like, I guess some calming effects. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know all that. Honestly, I ate like half of it. I ate like exactly half of it. So 600 milligrams down, I'm not eating any more. I kind of want, don't want to ruin my tolerance either. If you don't know about my edible tolerance, I, I love edibles. Edibles fuck me up more than anything. I can take a gram dab and like be pretty high, whatever. I can take a gram bong rip, whatever. I take like 50 or 100 milligrams, I'm shit faced. So <laughs> I'm off like 250 or something right now. And by the end of the day, end of the night, I'm gonna be off 600 and I'll be chilling, I hope. Fingers crossed. I'll update you. If anything crazy happens, I'll let you know. If not, see you tomorrow morning. I'm feeling crazy, bro. I'm just getting higher and higher. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna go live. Uh, what time is it? It's uh, 9.30 or something. Yo. I'm so... I haven't smoked a goddamn thing, which I might... I thought I might need to. I've been drinking a lot of water. Ate a little food. Um, I feel like I'm gonna throw up a little bit. I definitely ate too much. There's no way... Yeah, bro. I feel like I'm off the regular shit right now, man. Like, on some real shit. Um, I feel like I felt even a little paranoid. I was hearing things, like, left and right. Yeah, bro. There's no way I'm streaming. I might just fucking... I think I'm gonna throw up. 100%. Uh, we'll watch a movie after, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kanto knows, too. Yeah, Kanto. It's time, buddy. Ew. Fuck this. Oh! How do y'all take edibles, man? What the fuck? Alright, uh, it's the day after now, um, I'm not fucking around with these anymore, bro, I, I'm just gonna throw this away, like, I mean, 600 milligrams is understandable, right, like, I should've expected that shit to happen, but, like, I actually didn't throw up, I fucking held it together, but I was super nauseous for, like, my head was just spinning in bed for, like, 30 minutes, I definitely greened out, like, that's the definition of what happened to me last night, I greened out, I couldn't even think about taking a hit of anything, I have a bowl loaded right here, from last night, it's still like that. Um, yeah, bro, it was rough. I remember at first, the first sign that I was like a little too fucked up is my eyes couldn't focus. Like, I was trying to set up the stream and everything and I was just like squinting at my screen and I couldn't focus and I was like, bro, what is going on? Um, yeah, take edibles responsibly. Don't fucking green out like I just did. That was horrible, honestly. I, like, my whole brain, I was just thinking, bro, I was so fucking high. I haven't been that high in a long ass time. Like, genuinely, like, almost scared high <laughs> i thought i was hearing things but i thought someone was in my house nah fuck that i, I got way too fucked up kenzo what do you think i got you bro it's gonna be it for me man 
Love you all so much. Thanks for watching. If you do want to try out one of these, let me know. If all right, if if one of you, because I know a lot of you are like, I can take edibles all the time. Like it's whatever for me, Eric. Take eat eat one of these. Because I guess a good and a bad thing about this is that it's such a little amount. If that makes like physically, this isn't a lot. Like everybody can eat one of these. But like it's always tough. Whenever you want to eat a thousand milligrams, usually you have to eat ten brownies, and it's like I don't want to eat fucking ten brownies, you know. So eat one rope and get blackout high. I almost blacked out 100%. Like, I'm, I'm starting to remember things slowly about last night, like a picture and puzzle pieces, you know, like I was drunk or something, but I don't know. Eat a whole rope, let me know what you think, report back to this video in the comments, and let me know if you're alive or not, all right? I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Make sure to stay cool, stay high, stay safe, stay sexy, and I'll see you later. Okay, I'll see you later. Peace.